specialist and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for the final week. This is week three of the pep talk prayer series where I highlight excerpts from my book that you can get on Amazon prime or the link in the description or the link on the screen. And it is, um, very interesting because it, it talks about it's pep talk prayers, basically about your faith and also about being in God's perfect will. So basically having these cool little pep talks to help you to navigate your faith in a place where you feel like you're you're doing the things that God wants you to do. Most people often struggle with that. I can absolutely tell you that I have. I talked about some of the things I've gone through. I often mention my shortcomings because I'm not ashamed. I don't I don't want anybody to be on this channel feeling like, you know, even though we may have different issues, everybody don't like everybody, I get it and it's fine. But we all need to have a bit of compassion and grace for each other because there are some things that people struggle with that other people get very easily and it makes them feel bad because they, they're not like that. You know, like they don't they don't quite feel the same or they they're 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 uh they're not able to, you know, maybe get it as quickly or possibly they just simply don't understand it. So I love today's topic because I know that it's universal and I know that most people, when we are waiting on something from God and we know it is something that he has for us, it can be so daunting to wait through that process of seeing how he's going to bring it all together, right? So I remember when I was putting this together, it was like paint drying. I was like, oh, you ever hear that saying like, oh God, it's like watching paint dry. And basically that's just saying like it's taking forever and it is boring and oh, uh, like I'd rather be doing something else. Y'all do know many times that's what we find ourselves when we're on this journey. And for us, when, when we're dealing with waiting on a promise or waiting on something to come to pass from the Lord, it's, you know, we might not say it's like paint drying. We might just say we're bored. We're tired. Like, when is it going to happen? Uh, uh, uh. And we start getting really annoyed and aggravated, right? Well, let's talk about it. I, I want to talk about it. So if you have the book, turn to page 23 and the title is called paint drying. Let's read it. It says, you can't stand it. Yep. No one likes feeling like the very thing God has given them is like watching paint dry. You feel so aggravated in this season because it's taking forever. You don't want a meal half cooked, sis and bro. You shouldn't want your promises half done. Let me tell y'all that again. Hear me out. You don't want a meal that's half cooked. So you should not want your promises half done. And unless you decide to snap out of this impatience, it would only make your journey take longer. Woo. That's the whole word right there. So that is on page 23 of Pep Talk Prayers. So how many of you are in that space right now? Let's talk about it. I want to ask you guys a question. How many of you feel like you are in the midst of a promise or you're in the midst of a wait and it just feels like it has gotten increasingly unbearable for you to continue to wait? Can you drop that in the comments for me? And here's a bonus if you if you have it. Everybody may not have this answer. But is there something you think that you need if God gave to you or if you had a certain resource? Is there something you think that if you had that in your possession, it might make the experience a lot better for you? Please let me know in the comments how you feel about that. Okay, so let's talk about paint drying real quick. All right. So here's the thing, guys. I want you to understand something. Again, we walking through this together. Okay, so if we're going to live authentically, right, sometimes authenticity is not all fun and fancy. It's not super glamorous, but authenticity, I think, provides us a peace. It provides us a peace of mind and it provides us the, uh, I guess the, what's the word y'all? What you want to say? What, what you want to call it? Like the, uh, it gives us like the, I, I don't want to say confidence. Cause that's not, we, we say this in the end big chest and like, man, she was big chest and he was big chest. And that's just like, they got their chest out cause they were proud of themselves or they were excited about something. So they got a lot of, you know, pride about it. It made them happy. Right. So that could even now, now sometimes when they say somebody big chest and it could be because they have too much ego, but sometimes it's because somebody makes a really cool accomplishment and like, Oh, she was big chest and he was big chest and ha ha, whatever. So that's what I'm talking about. So like, Let's just say that 
If you allow yourself to think about the process of paint drying, as boring as it may be, what is the end result of it? That's what you want to stick to. You want to stick to the end result of it. And y'all, I'm going to say that thing again. You know I'm going to make that thing a quote. You don't want a meal half cooked, so you shouldn't want your promises half done. That is that on that, period. I don't need to over explain that because this is what I know for sure. If you're listening to this right now and God led you to, to, to hear this, or maybe it was, maybe God didn't talk to you, maybe a friend or you happened on it on the page and you just saw it. Hear me out. Let me tell you something that's awesome about you. If you are in the process of becoming the person that you know you're supposed to be, if you are in the process of really walking into a phase or a stage in your life that is unfamiliar, if you are in a process in your life where you have been going through complete and utter hell and you feel like this process is driving me nuts, I'm going to tell you for the first thing, keep going through it. You don't belong in it. You're just supposed to go through it. That's the first thing. The second thing is this. I want you to understand something. God uses willing participants. There are people who go through life and they just have a, a, a meaningless existence. They just sit down every day. They do nothing. They have no active social life. They don't help people. They don't serve. They don't talk to people. They're hermits. They don't even want to be bothered with anybody. You know, and unfortunately, a lot of people land that way and they begin to think that they're that way. But it's because for some reason, I don't know, everybody has their own story. Whatever that part in them to, 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 to know that they're so authentic, you know, it hasn't been activated. And everybody's not necessarily born to know that unless I know I was just raised. I was raised in a confident, uh, excuse me, in a confident household. I was raised in a very active household. So everybody doesn't know that. I just so happen to get that as, as a, a part of my growing up. But everybody is not privy to how expansive and how incredible God can be in their lives. That is just not a, a gimme for everybody, right? It's just not. So something that I want you to think about, okay? I want you to think about this before we ride out. Let's see. Yep, we just got about a couple of minutes left. I want you to think about this. So sit with impatience. I want you to pray and ask God about impatience because even now, prophetically, see, I, I was not planning on that, but I got to move in the Holy Spirit move. I genuinely believe that for some of you hearing me right now, you don't realize that what you're doing is considered impatience because in your mind, you think because you have come to terms with how things are, everything is fine. But this is why I always tell y'all about blind spots. In fact, you can look on the screen right now and click that video and you can watch blind spots when this one is off. And this video is about to go off. So I just wanted to be clear and let you guys know, um, you know, your, your blind spots can sometimes be masked as other things. And what is possibly masquerading as impatience in your life is something that you are not identifying. And that could cause you to really struggle right now with how God is taking you through a process. And it can feel very slow, very daunting, and very annoying. And although it may feel like pain is drying, hear me out when I tell you this. If you fight God or get in a space where you're not willing to accept the process, you are going to delay your journey. And that is the last thing you want to do. And hopefully, if you've come to the realization after listening to this, that this may be what you're doing, I would encourage you to just ask God for a divine reset and for you to just get into it. Y'all, I talk so much about asking God to do this, moving, the, you know, asking God to do that. But please don't ever get it twisted. You have to put legs to your prayers. You can't just call out all these things to God and you're just sitting there. All through Proverbs, he talk about working. And, and handling your business. So praying and, and, and working is a package deal because we know faith without works is dead. So even with all of that, you still got to do some of the spiritual lifting with it, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We have two more this week. Join me back on Wednesday for The Plot and Friday for Life Plan. And that's going to round out our nine episodes in the Pep Talk Prayers series based on my book that you can get right here on the screen. And you can also hit right here and get the, uh, the pep talk prayers playlist. Okay. So I thank you guys so much for joining me and I appreciate you. Make sure you like, you share and subscribe. And most importantly, turn on the notifications because I pop up at multiple times daily. Okay. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.